Hello everyone. Today is Sunday, January 16th, 2022. Ethiopia objects to alleged misconduct of WHO chief Tedros. Excuse me, this article is taken from Voice of America. The government of Ethiopia has sent a letter to the World Health Organization accusing its Ethiopian Director General of misconduct after his sharp criticism of the war and humanitarian crisis in the country. Ethiopia nominated Tedros Adenan Gebre Yesus to be the head of the UN Health Agency four years ago, but says he has not lived up to the integrity and professional expectations required from his office, accusing him of interfering in Ethiopia's internal affairs, according to a press release issued late Thursday. It seems that this paper is being disingenuous by saying that Ethiopia elected him or nom nominated him four years ago. Okay, that's true, obviously, but it, it was probably under a different administration, the previous Tigrayan administration, because the current head of state, uh, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, wasn't the, uh, the prime minister four years ago. It, it was less than four years ago. So uh, from my calculations, it, it, uh, he was nominated, this uh, Gebre Yesus, uh, to to become who the head of uh, who by his own people the the if I could say that I mean even though he's Ethiopian but specifically the Tigrayan administration that uh, predates the current administration maybe I'm wrong but that's 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 what I get um, in other words uh, Abi did not choose for him to become the um, uh, the head of who, um, probably because of his connections with uh, the Tigray and the TPLF. But uh, I'm not sure about that, but that's what, what I'm gathering. Through his acts, Tedros spread harmful misinformation and compromised who's reputation, independence, and credibility, Ethiopia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs said who had no immediate response to the claims. Tedros, an ethnic Tigrayan, has repeatedly deplored the situation in his home country and called for humanitarian access to the conflict-ridden region of Ethiopia. You know what my take on this is? Maybe I'm wrong, but the Tigrayans who remain in Tigray, um, because of the uh, uh, TPLF still being there, re, um, retreating there and continuing the war. If they stay in that region, if uh, if they're allowed to leave by the, the federal government, which I would believe is the case, then they have themselves to blame if, if uh, for whatever happens to them because they're supporting uh, traitors to the, the uh, federal government, the TPLF. Nowhere in the world are we witnessing hell like Tigray, said Tedros at a media briefing Wednesday. He cited a missive who, who had received recently from a physician in the region who said health authorities had run out of basic medicines for diseases including diabetes in June and were now using expired stocks and intravenous fluids. Health officials in the Tigray capital have described the same to the Associated Press. Tedros condemned Ethiopia's blockade of international access to Tigray, saying that who had not been allowed to send any supplies to the region since July, noting the UN agency had access to Syria and Yemen, even during their worst conflicts. Um, I don't know, I, and I'll take his word for it that you know the, that the situation when it came to humanitarian aid arriving to the uh, area, uh, uh, the conflicted area. Um, 
but it seems that he's not putting any of the blame on the TPLF, which started the war, which they don't ever want to admit. It's a known fact. They started the war and they are fighting against the federal government. That's treason. That's a rebellion. That's a revolution. Okay? So he's not saying anything about that. And, and that being the case, anything that happens in the region that they're in with the people who choose to stay there, I'm assuming, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm assuming it's their fault. It's the TPLF's fault. And they have the choice at any time to put down their weapons and surrender. But he's not, he's not saying anything about this. Obviously, because he's Tigrayan. He said there should be unfettered humanitarian access to Tigray and said that just respecting the con constitutional order would bring this problem into a peaceful conclusion. Well, actually, the TPLF respecting the constitutional order of the federal government would bring peace to, to the region. He continued, of course, I am from that region. Of course you are. And from the northern part of Ethiopia, but I am saying this without any bias. Right. Uh, the Ethiopian government said Tedros was using his office to advance his political interest at the expense of Ethiopia and said he continues to be an active member of the Tigray People's Liberation Front. Tedros was foreign minister and health minister when the TPLF dominated the country's ruling coalition. Uh, go figure. That That's why... He has a dog in the fight. He was one of their main politicians. The TPLF, the political party that runs the Tigray region, has been clashing with Ethiopian federal forces since the country's Nobel Peace Prize winning prime minister accused the heavily armed regional government of attacking a military base, which they did, and they admitted to it. Uh, each government regards the other as illegitimate after a month's long falling out amid political reforms. The, a, a region, a regional government doesn't fall out with the federal government. The regional government uh, has to fall under the federal government. Last time I checked, that's like California governors going to war with, with Joe Biden. On Friday, the UN World Food Program warned its food assistance in northern Ethiopia is about to grind to a halt because intense fighting has blocked the passage of fuel and food. No WFP convoys have reached the Tig Tigray capital since mid-December, it said in a statement. And the last of WFP's cereals, pulses, and oil will be distributed next week. Stocks of nutritionally fortified food to treat malnourished children and women are depleted, it said. We're now having to choose who goes hungry to prevent another from starving, said Michael Dunford, WFP's regional director for Eastern Africa, calling for safe humanitarian corridors on all routes across northern Ethiopia. The WFP says nearly 10 million people need food assistance. In a separate statement on the war, the UN Human Rights Office said at least 108 civilians have reportedly been killed in Tigray this year by airstrikes, allegedly carried out by the Ethiopian Air Force and warned of possible war crimes. The airstrikes have continued despite a shift in the war in recent weeks with the Tigray forces retreating into their region and Ethiopian forces saying they wouldn't pursue them further there. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has spoken of reconciliation and national dialogue. In September, France, Germany, and other European countries nominated Tedros for a second term as WHO's Director General, the first time any candidate was not supported by his or her home country. Tedros is expected to be confirmed for another five-year term in May as he is running as unopposed. You, would you assume that the West is is uh, 
uh, taking sides with this war based on who they're they're uh, 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 re-electing to to a, an international office. Uh, someone who is a former uh, major politician of a, a, uh, a political party that has just committed treason. I mean, if, if, to be fair, they should just say, just stay out of it and not uh, allow him to continue to have that office. That's, that's only fair. Be, uh, be, be uh, uh, fair, uh, impartial, unbiased. Uh, under Tedros, who came under withering criticism from the U.S. Trump administration over allegations of grievous missteps in responding to COVID-19 and for allegedly colluding with China in the early phases of the outbreak. Tedros has been a leading voice urging rich countries and vaccine makers to do more to improve access to COVID shots in the developing world, a call that has largely gone unheeded. Last year, WHO faced mounting pressure over revelations from an AP investigation and an independent panel that found senior management were informed of sexual abuse allegations during the agency's response to an Ebola outbreak in Congo.